inside the courtroom, but here to discuss trial and family law attorney Lexi Rigdon and criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor David Bruno. Lexi, I'll go to you first. You know, it was interesting to watch this testimony unfold. We know in opening statements the defense doesn't, he basically says we ask you to hold him responsible. He did bury the victim's body there on his parents' um, property, but that it was an OD. Uh, but the extensive uh, way that both the prosecution and the defense dug into her um, leaves me scratching my head a little bit. What about you? I mean, I agree. Also, it's got to be really tough in her position. She obviously cares about her son and she loves him and she's his mother, but she's actually testifying for the prosecution. So that can't be an easy position for her to be in. And given that position, I think she's doing a pretty good job. And I thought it was interesting that they're clearly trying to question and put the question in the jurors' minds about the accuracy of her handwritten notations, which were very detailed due to the fact that she had a traumatic brain injury. And I thought that that was a very effective thing to plant in the jurors' heads. Definitely, Lexi. And final thoughts for you, uh, David, before we have to go to break. Yeah, again, I question this move by the prosecutor. Number one, she comes across so sweet um, with the brain injury and even like saying I needed to work to get the mats and and et cetera. And the kiss, right? I mean, the jury sees the connection with the mom. In the end, I didn't think it brought a lot to the prosecutor's case. And it in part kind of humanizes the defendant by seeing the mother. Sure, I agree with that. And too bad the camera, we can't, usually with our own cameras in the courtroom, we could see the defendant, we could see this unfold, but uh, it is what it is there. Uh, thank you so much, Lexi and Bruno, for your insights and being with us this evening. Uh, coming up next, we're going to.